Alright, welcome back to Rough Dog RC. Um, as you can tell, I'm doing some work here on the bench. Got the uh, deadbolt out here. And uh, took it out on the trail with the uh, IROC. These RC four wheel drive. IROC. Um, not really much to say. I think they're pretty hard. I mean, if you got a heavy truck, they probably work better. This is a. Uh, Thing's still pretty light, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up taking the foams out of this, and I'm going to take these foams. These are the uh, the pit bulls, the Mad Beast. They got foams in them, so I think I'm going to steal the foams out of them. It's a two stage in there, because these foams here are pretty soft. This is what pit bull puts in them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in here because these are going to go on my EXO. So I'll take these foams and put them in here. But as you can tell, I'm also upgrading some links here. I've got some the Vanquish, uh, or not Vanquish, but the Axial Metal Links. These are, I don't know if you can see it here. Uh, Oh, you can't even see it. These are six by ninety-eight millimeters, and they use the rod ends that came in comes with axial. So this length right here comes out to I think it's uh, one hundred and twenty millimeters, if I remember correctly. But that sets up the links there. I am gonna take one of these out in the rear. I'm gonna measure it. I think it's gonna end up being. A shorter rod just like this this is what I'm using in the front so that's a uh, 98 millimeter right there and then uh, this is what I'm using on the, I think I'm going to use this on the top this right here is gonna a little bit shorter so it should fit if I got my measurements right, you see how much shorter that is there. Yeah. But that should work out. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, also, going to change the motor out on this. The motor, I don't know where it's at. I don't know what happened to it. I had it out earlier. Anyways, it's uh, the Home Tobby 35 turner I ended up putting in here because this is the the factory 27 turn axial motor and uh, not really thrilled about it so I'm gonna end up changing that out um, what else am I gonna do or just that and the links and as you can see here I also have the upgraded C hubs from axial these have the two positions I don't know if you can see that there, hopefully. And what that allows you to do, it allows you to clock this C-hub. So instead of the C-hub being forward, see how instead of it being forward like that, you clock it back, you get better caster, you get a better turning radius. Got the Vanquish high angle uh, knuckles on it. They work great. The only thing is, is now you got to come up with some contraption like this for the steering linkage, and uh, it doesn't really work. I mean, it works fine, but it's temporary until I could get the linkage kit from Vanquish and put on here. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Got the uh, the high angle steer knuckles from Vanquish or Vanquish, God, from Axial. Got a lot of Vanquish on my mind. BGR bumpers. They worked out pretty good. They looked good. Guys on the trail really liked it. They said it made the vehicle look pretty good. So, took a little beating on it. When I was out there, it got a little bit bent. I had to straighten it up a little bit, but that's aluminum. So, scratched up a little bit. But that should help it crawl better. Eventually, I'm going to get the... Uh, RC four wheel drive uh, rock crawler shocks get them put on here. So 
but you know that's a little bit later date I'm gonna, these would go from the 90 to the 100 millimeter so I'll have a little bit better articulation I'll be able to droop it better and just set up the suspension all right so um, let me get those bottom links on I'm gonna get these uh, foam swapped out and then uh, we'll take a look at it again and I'll be right back okay um, actually I am going to make a little change here here's my Holmes Hobbies motor it is the uh, 35 turn Pro Wind metal case gears metal gears um, I'm going to end up putting this whole module in place of the stock factory one so I got the brand new motor it's only had two battery packs through it transmission spur gear all that stuff this whole module I'm going to take out and do the wires and uh, solder this place in this buddy back in and uh, in place of it and uh, bolt it in and we'll be all good so it will replace all this right here um, dying to test this motor out with the new AE5 waterproof speed control so um, might even uh, change that servo out too while I'm at it just because I actually have one that's going to go in another project but I'll order another one in um, other than that just need the shocks and the lockouts for the rear and pretty much be set with this rig so let me go ahead and uh, get this put in get those foam switched out on the tires and uh, I'll get back with you on that one All right be right back all right, I am done. I got the foams out of the original Mad Beast, and I put uh, it's a heavier duty foam. Put it like for uh, two stage foams. Put those in the Mad Beast. Put the two stage in the I Rocks. They are definitely a lot softer. So also changed the four bottom links. These are the axial 98 millimeter um, two. Okay, so I got those changed out. Also changed uh, the Holmes Hobby motor, put the aluminum case and all the steel gears inside of it. So there's, there's pretty much a brand new transmission. It is very, very quiet. I'm surprised how quiet these things are with all the plastic gears. But got the metal gears in that one, so that's all good to go. I didn't do the steering servo or anything like that yet, but you can see that the uh, works out pretty good. So pretty happy with it so far. Uh, I'm gonna try and get out uh, here real quick and see if I could go uh, shoot some video this time if I don't re forget my camera gear and uh, see who wants to go out. Maybe we can get a couple guys out and today and hit the trails. Alright, I appreciate you guys turning in, tuning in and uh, please share the videos and if you do have a Google account please subscribe. I'm trying to get my uh, viewer subscribership up a little bit. Uh, every little bit helps so share with your friends, have them subscribe and they can stay tuned and get all the cool updates. Like Right now I got videos for the next week and a half I believe It'll be up on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'm putting videos up. So, hopefully, uh, that'll work out for you guys. You get some good footage and everything to watch. All right. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, I got the honcho I got it fixed. Get a new bumper on that. And uh, we'll get some of these other rigs out, get some more videos. And I uh, greatly appreciate you tuning in. And, uh, Share and comment. Have a good day.